Hi, I'm Jamie Forbes from Fine Art Magazine, and I'm here with Susan Rockefeller again. Susan, it's nice to see you. It's great to see you again. Thank you for interviewing us. And we're here with your friend, Gina. Gina and, Bradley. And you're the Paddle Diva. Yes, I'm, I'm from, the paddle, uh, from Paddle Diva. Absolutely. And what is Paddle Diva? It's a stand-up paddleboarding business that brings, access, brings women to the water and makes it more accessible for them to try the sport. Oh, fabulous. And tell me about your new film. It's a 15-minute ode to the ocean, you said. Yes. A poetic ode, you It's said? a poetic ode. It's, it's my voiceover. It's my plea to get more people involved in ocean conservation. So it is about the myth of the mermaid. So in terms of art, in every almost every culture, you've got a selkie or a mermaid or a siren. So the idea is to blend myth and fact and stories and statistics to create a wake-up call to save our oceans. And what move, you have such a big heart because your last film was a humanitarian film. This is beyond humanitarian. This is more universally important or it's important if you understand the earth is a living organism. Yes, it is. So what moved you? Did you guys form a friendship and you were inspired or did you have this thought and then you uh, met the paddle Well, in terms of humanitarian, the globe, we are one ocean and one world, and over one billion people rely on fish for their major source of protein. So it really is about having compassion for so many people that are going to rely on fish, especially by 2050 when we ha will have over nine billion people on the planet. But Gina and I met because I wanted to learn how to paddleboard, and I found yeah. out about Gina, and Gina's been a mentor in so many ways. We get out onto the water. It's so beautiful. We see egrets. We see yes. people clamming. And where do you go? Uh, just in what area? Of it? All Eastern over. We go, well, no, just out to yes, Long Island. Yes, Sag Pond, okay. Okay. Three Mile Harbor, Akabonic. Gotcha. gotcha. And it's so beautiful. So I made the film primarily, 95% of it is found footage, yeah. borrowed or found on the internet. Yeah. And then I only did an hour and a half of filming out here at Sagaponic and Gina and I paddle boarded and then we did a montage at the end oh, for action like what can you do and Gina's part of that montage oh fabulous so if you see the film I hope you will or go to SusanRockefeller.com okay. and you can learn more about it go to PaddleDiva.com if you want to paddle board Gina's an ambassador my hope is that I can get mermaid ambassadors all over the fabulous. world to talk about ocean issues fabulous well I you know it's funny that we ran into each other because just last week I just went on fire mentally about the pollution in the water Interesting. I just I got sick of the thought of the pollution in the water and what it's doing to every living organism in on planet Earth right so I became bothered really bothered right and I said well how 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 can I how can I use my resources to tap into this? But you've done it for us. Well, thank you so much <laughs> for getting the word out through your Well, your it's interesting web. that you've taken myth, uh, that you feel this is a myth. It's a mythic story. So it's a storytelling through the ages, through the beginning of time, as we understand metaphor, correct? Yes. And I also think that we learn so much about what we want to do, dreams. We want to be able to dream. We want to be able to think outside the conventional box to solve some of these complex problems. And I think that The Mermaid is really about taking time for yourself, giving yourself time to rest. And I use that as the analogy that our ocean needs time to rest. And if we give it time to rest and we enforce existing fishing regulations, we minimize the bycatch, we protect fisheries yes. habitat, it will rebound. That's interesting. I've heard that said, but I haven't heard, seen the metaphor of the feminine divine brought into the experience, and I haven't seen the emphasis on rest and being yourself or being an entity, a living, breathing, at peace entity. And that's what you will see when you see the film. The idea is that we as women, but it's mermaids, it's mermen, mm -hmm. it's merfolk, it's merkids, it's merteens, giving yourself time to rest, you then restore and you're able to give back to your loved ones, your work, and we need to do the same with the ocean. We do that in agriculture. We let a field lay fallow. We need to give the ocean time and it will rebound. Just like when we give ourselves those mermaid moments and we give ourselves time, we can give back that much more fully. Uh, Jacques Cousteau's uh, grandson did an interview on CNN uh, back at the end of the winter, the beginning of the spring, where he emphasized the renewal of the fishing uh, 
beds and I know on Long Island you can't clam or, or shellfish in certain areas in order to renew the beds. Mm -hmm. There's certain times that you can't fish certain fish to renew. Um, and you still feel there's time enough to catch the process and spawn a new era of healthy water. I do. I think that's the, that the, the key is to enforce the existing fishing regulations and understand that we have about 20 years to reverse the tide of ocean destruction. And so after that have, it becomes very late. It becomes very it, it late. It becomes an epic disaster. Yes, it does. That's what I felt. So you do this as a tactile experience. Yes. And you introduce others to the tactile yes. experience of being involved in the water. Yes. And the water is the womb. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. And many women often just stand on the shore and look out at the water, and what I do is bring them on top of it, where we and we paddle and have that experience, and it does open up their eyes to a whole new world that they never knew existed. So you're somebody who gets out there, you see the seals, mm -hmm. you see the dolphin, mm -hmm. you'll occasionally see the manatee, you'll spot the whale, and you experience this, this turtle. The turtle. turtles. Turtles are great. Yeah. Turtles are dynamite. Yeah. Turtles are The awesome. sharks. Yeah. There's a lot All of, of it. There's a lot, a lot of marine life out Shark. here. Sharks are good. I've swum in the waters here <laughs> where the sharks kind of accompany you. Mm -hmm. They brush up. Yes. They're not always biting. No. And so you're bringing them into this process. Yes. And feeling so that they're united. They're one with the water because mm -hmm. we are water. We are. We are water. Womb to womb. Heartbeat mm -hmm. to heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Millennium to millennium. We come from water. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a very uniting experience. What inspired you to get involved with this? Um, I've always been an athlete, mm -hmm. and I've always worked with women uh, throughout my life, and my life. And I saw this as the first sport that I could really quickly get women up and running, so to speak, or up and paddling, mm -hmm. in a fast. You have to try it. You yeah, have to, you have to try it. Why don't you I come mean, with us? You're my I will. I will. I will. But, um, you get it. You know, you're just so it. poetic about yeah. it. No, no. I've been. Th the funny thing is, I love. <laughs> I'm so. I don't mean to interrupt. I love Susan's films. I love the way she hits her yes, topic. She does. There's nobody doing this with this conscience other than you that I've interviewed. Nobody does this. And to see you involved, and I know I can feel what you are doing. Yes. And the energy you're instilling, and it's a great unity of purpose. And you always unite with another. Good soul to get your purpose across. So the last time we spoke, I was with Niall Rogers, Correct. music legend extraordinaire for Rare Family Foundation and Striking a Chord, and now with Gina. So Gina can get inspire all these women. That's and my goal. She's a total inspiration on the water and legend extraordinaire in the water in her own right. Yes, in exactly. her own right. Okay, <laughs> not Niall, but I am Gina. That's, well, that's yeah. that's who yeah. you want to know about. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's who you have to be. Yeah, definitely. Well, I want to thank you. Is there any other kernel of thought you want to inspire people with for how to be involved with the reclaiming of the water? It's like, it's I, funny, I thought about this. This is like any other environmental reclaiming, but it has to be active. The water keepers haven't been as active as they need to be. They can keep people from not polluting, but they can't get people to reclaim. This is a new concept. Well, I would say that the one, what I hope will come out of my film is that as many people people as possible that see it will join Oceana, which is the only global nonprofit organization solely focused on ocean protection. We have over 500,000 wave makers. All people need to do is go on the site, sign up, and they'll fabulous. start getting information, they'll start getting educated, and oh, they fabulous. can become active in their mm -hmm. own communities. So that that is my hope. My hope is that we can create a movement and get people to understand what's at stake. Have you been to the reef on the opposite side of Cuba that has not had any pollution because they have no. No, I have friends that have gone. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, Anderson Cooper was just there. He did a oh, that's piece interesting. on that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because I understand that that's extraordinary because it's mm -hmm. like rolling back the clock prior to any kind of pollution in the Caribbean. It's yeah. supposed to be spectacular. I would love to go yeah, there. Me too. So. Well, any last words? Any less inspiration moments? Just to make sure that if you see the water or interact with the water, which we do every day, that you do something to help the oceans rest. Thank you so kindly. Thank you Any very much. Any final words on your behalf? Just, okay, Julia, see you later. I mean, that's the end of my film says, give the ocean time to rest, give the oceans a rest. And it's a combination of we need time to rest, to fully be invigorated, to really do all the things that we want to do in life and we need the oceans to rest and we will have life boundless <laughs> life for as long as abundance. we want it. Exactly. Yeah, it'll live. One minor little thought, I grew up on Long Island, so I used to go um, 
down Shore Road in Oyster Bay, uh -huh. and when the uh, shoe horses, the horseshoe, the, crabs. horseshoe crabs. crabs, would come in, they would come in by the thousands. thousands. They would cover the road, you know. and you couldn't drive through. Right. Right. You know. And in Santa Riches, where I live on the water, they used to come up in the backyard two or three a year. I can't find another one. I used to see them all the time when They're I grew gone. I came to the Hamptons since I was yeah. three. And I used to see them, and they're magical, and there's... Yes. And where are they? So. Are they literally wiped out? They're getting there. They're getting and there. And we need to do our part to yeah. protect them. They because are a key, that, yeah. key piece of the that, On Long Island, that one hits me. Yes. Yes. And, and they're lovely, and lovable shells. creatures. There was also shells you never everywhere. See any. So it's, you know, those are the signs. And I think if we observe and we start to take care of the things we love, you become more active mm -hmm. in wanting to save them. So I hope anyone that sees the film, anyone that watches this, gets involved in whatever well, way. Hopefully yeah. we can accent it. Thank you again kindly Thank for your you time, so Susan. Much. Thank, Thank you, you again so kindly much. for your Come name. paddle Gina Bradley. And it's Gina Bradley at paddlediva.com. Yeah. And people can catch you there. They can yes. sign up for your lessons yes. and they know where to find you at SusanRockefeller.com. Thanks. Thank okay. you. Thank you Perfect. so much. Thank so you. Much.